The final stage no one talks about. What if I told you the most dangerous stage of HIV isn't always the one with the most symptoms, but the one we recognize too late? Millions of people are walking around with HIV and have no idea. By the time symptoms force them to see a doctor, it's already progressed to AIDS, the last stage of HIV infection. This isn't a scare tactic. This is the truth. And what happens in this final stage is both terrifying and urgent to understand. Let me walk you through it, symptom by symptom, so that you never miss the warning signs that could save a life. First, let's get our definitions clear. HIV is a virus, the human immunodeficiency virus. AIDS is not a virus. It's a condition acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. You reach this stage when your CD4 T cell count falls below 200 cells, m cubic meters, normal is 500 to 1500, or you develop an opportunistic infection, illnesses that only appear when your immune system is severely compromised. That's the last stage of HIV, and it can be life-threatening if not caught in time. At this stage, your immune system is barely functional. Your body cannot fight back against simple bacterial infections, fungal invaders, viruses that a healthy person would brush off easily. Even ordinary colds can become deadly. Organs begin to slow down. Nutrient absorption fails. Inflammation spreads. This is what happens when the virus has had years to multiply silently, unchecked. Major symptoms in the final stage of HIV. Let's walk through the top 10 symptoms of last stage HIV. Number 1. Extreme and sudden weight loss wasting syndrome. This isn't normal weight loss. It's your body breaking itself down to survive. People with advanced HIV often lose more than 10% of their body weight rapidly and without trying. Muscles shrink. Bones become visible. It's called wasting syndrome. And it's your body screaming that it has no resources left. Even eating more doesn't reverse it because the body can't absorb nutrients anymore. Number 2. Chronic Diarrhea This isn't your average food poisoning episode. It's relentless, lasting for weeks or months, and often resistant to basic treatment. The cause, dangerous infections, like cryptosporidios or cytomegalovirus CMV, which a healthy immune system would normally control. But in AIDS, these microbes run wild in the gut, draining the body of fluids, energy, and life. Number 3. Persistent fevers and night sweats. The body heats up again and again, often twice a day, and then cools with violent, soaking night sweats. These aren't mild fevers, they're intense, unexplained, and unpredictable. You might wake up drenched, needing to change clothes, or even bedsheets. It's the immune system's desperate attempt to fight, but it's fighting without weapons. Number 4. Constant fatigue and weakness. This isn't just tired, it's profound exhaustion. Getting out of bed feels like climbing a mountain. People describe feeling drained from the moment they wake up. And even sitting upright becomes a challenge. This happens because your body is under full attack, using every ounce of energy to fight infections while the army is losing. Number 5. Swollen lymph nodes all over the body. Your lymph nodes, especially in the neck, armpits and groins swell up visibly. These are immune control centers and they enlarge because they're overloaded. It's a sign of your body trying desperately to respond to a war it can't win. If the swelling is persistent and painful, it often means deep, internal infections are spreading. Number 6. Chronic cough and shortness of breath. This cough won't go away and it's not from smoking. In most AIDS cases, the cause is a deadly lung infection called pneumocystis, pneumonia, PCP. It causes shallow breathing, dry cough, and chest pain. What's worse, antibiotics don't work because it's fungal, not bacterial. This condition can be fatal without early detection and specific treatment. Number 7. Skin rashes, lesions, and sores. The skin becomes a mirror of internal destruction. People with AIDS often develop purple or red lesions like caposis, sarcoma, large open sores, and rashes that don't heal. These can appear on the face, torso, mouth, 
or limbs, painful, disfiguring, and sometimes bleeding. It's a red flag that the immune system has collapsed. Number 8. Mouth ulcers and thrush. Inside the mouth, you'll often see white, patchy fungal infections, known as oral thrush. These patches can spread to the throat, esophagus, or even the lungs. They make it painful to eat, talk, or swallow. They're caused by candida, a fungus that lives in all of us, but grows out of control when immune defense is gone. Number 9. Neurological changes, confusion, memory loss, seizures. HIV doesn't just stay in the blood, it can invade the brain. This leads to a condition known as HANDHIV-associated neurocognitive disorder. Symptoms include severe forgetfulness, difficulty focusing, disorientation, even seizures and loss of speech. Many people start feeling like they're losing themselves mentally, even before physical symptoms worsen. Number 10. Opportunistic infections. This is what truly defines the AIDS stage. The body becomes so weak that it gets infected by viruses, bacteria, and fungi that healthy people fight off every day. Common opportunistic infections include tuberculosis, lungs, toxoplasmosis, brain infection, often from cat feces. CMV affects the eyes, gut, and lungs. Candidiasis, white fungus in mouth or esophagus. Herpes outbreaks that don't heal and become dangerous. These infections can affect multiple organs, lead to hospitalization, or become life-threatening. Doctors diagnosed AIDS through CD4, count 200 cells, m cubic meters, presence of opportunistic infections, viral load testing to see how much HIV is in the blood. Without testing, many reach this stage by accident after being hospitalized for pneumonia or chronic fever. Early testing prevents all this. That's the key message. Here's the hope. If caught in time, even late stage, HIV can be treated with ART antirotroviral therapy. Treating opportunistic infections, nutritional support, immune-boosting interventions. While the damage may not fully reverse, Many bounce back and live for years with proper care. But every day delayed makes it harder. You might ask, why is this still happening? Stigma. People are afraid to get tested. Misinformation. Believing HIV equals immediate death. Access. In some parts of the world, treatment is still out of reach. Denial. I'm fine. I don't have symptoms until it's too late. HIV is not a death sentence. AIDs is preventable, but only if you know the facts. Get tested. Encourage loved ones to get tested. Don't wait for symptoms. Act on exposure. Treatment today is powerful, accessible, and life-saving. Your life and the life of someone you love could depend on knowing what you've just learned. If you found this video helpful, please share it. Help break the silence, remove the stigma, and save lives. Subscribe to Lifelong Vitality for more science-backed health information from doctors who care.